I uh, wanted to do um, another video I was inspired to this morning. Um, post transition day with Rudy, um, I had a really interesting experience and it sort of, I think, reminded me a bit of, this must be, I think, when women have children and the postpartum after giving birth. Um, I think sometimes it's, it's, a, it's a passage that doesn't always go um, acknowledged. And um, I wanted to speak to, there's Mr. Jet releasing the space a little bit, um, what it felt like after holding space. And I think what I'm learning about, um, just see Jet's doing some releasing right now. Thank you, Mr. Sir. It's palpable in here and I also felt it for myself. So I had an experience yesterday after, um, you know, we said goodbye to Rudy, where I just felt this whole, I guess, re release of my system. And um, I've had to be in this space of holding for grief, you know, with Luca and Rudy for probably, well, since we knew about Rudy about six weeks and then with Luca, it's, it's been um, about three weeks. And I didn't realize um, to the extent of which that was having an impact on me of holding that space and so yesterday when it all left it was like my system just like had a had a release from holding that and I'm sitting here this morning realizing there's a recovery that I now have to be in um, because of what I just held and what it reminded me of as well um, I remember talking to a client last year who created and led her first sort of group space and her talking to me afterwards of how exhausted she was and that um, exhaustion uh, surprised her because she didn't realize and I had said to her then it's like w w the output when we're in it of creating and holding space for something and it's almost as if we kind of tap into a different energy source is a lot and then when it's over our system, it's like having an adrenaline rush and then your system recovers. And, and one of the things that I had said to her then was you need to give yourself time um, to be in the recovery of that and to uh, recover your your energy and, and your nervous system. Um, and I think the thing that I've learned over the years is that I don't always, well, we don't always recognize when we're in it that there's so much that we're holding we don't anticipate it and we don't give our side, ourselves time to recover from it. Um, the other places I've seen this show up for me in the past is leading like back-to-back -back retreats where I don't give myself time or I haven't in the past give myself time between retreats to recover myself and to just be. And so I'm grateful that this week and I've learned a little bit where I've actually cl I'd cleared my entire week. So I don't have to do anything this week. I don't have calls. Um, I don't have things that are scheduled so I can take the time to really honor my system and I felt that you know when I came out here and felt the space of this herd I could feel it palpably with them of also holding space for the after um, and so I wanted to share that because I think it's an important part of of any cycle that we find ourselves in when we're holding a lot and we don't realize that we're holding so much and we don't pack in time to recover from it. Um, I've learned my lesson of this and, and I and I am grateful that I had been intentional about making space for myself. And thank God I did because yesterday when it was all over I realized Jesus, I didn't I didn't really appreciate how much I was holding and my system needs to recover and I need to rest and I need to just be um, and I feel that here too so I wanted to do a video of that too because I think this is a really important cycle part as I mentioned that um, we forget um, and I think it's applicable after we've prepared anything led a big space supported a big space you know either in our work or in our own journeys um, and we need to remember to create space for ourselves to recover after that um, I know I have great range and capacity to hold space for a lot. Um, I do it on a consistent basis. And um, 
I'm also a human and my nervous system has its limits and it's important, you know, that we create space for that. Um, and it's palpable here. You know, I just, I feel very much from the horses that there's um, this very still presence um, of rest and recovery. And I think probably giving space to those lingering pieces of just being with the grief of, of the loss and, and letting that calibrate. Um, they all have their different process in that too as well. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share that from the, the herd lens. We have some movement and some conversation <laughs> happening as always, um, as well, because you can kind of feel it. So perhaps wherever that lands for you. So the integration of this learning and how I have applied it is I give a window now, um, to anticipate this and to listen to the full cycle and what I need to create for myself and maybe for other to honor that. Um, so not just think of it in stages, but really anticipate when I'm done holding space, when I've completed something, the same time we create space for ourselves to enter in, into something, we need to create space for it to end. Um, I, so I think that can show up in our day-to-day -day work, you know, if we're coaches or mentors and have practices, martinis licking and chewing over there. I've learned to adapt it into um, my retreats in terms of giving myself a day or two in between where I'm not just jumping in from holding space from one thing to the next. Um, and I anticipated, thankfully, this week too, where I needed to give myself space so I didn't plan anything for the rest of the week so I could just be and honor that. Um, so there's our completion message of this. And again, um, so wisely learning from the herd as always and uh, wherever that needed to land for you today too.